Hey guys. So I noticed that our Rosa Parks book isn't um, a read aloud book. So I was going to read it for you. That way you can see it. You can hear me read it um, in case you're struggling with some of the words. So this is the one that the link should have brought you to basic biographies of Rosa Parks. It is a 3.1 for AR. It says Rosa Parks was a very brave woman. All her life, she wanted people to be treated fairly. The caption says, Rosa Parks worked towards fairness. And I'm going to, oh, no, I can't move myself. Just a okay. All right. Then when we turn the page, it says, Rosa was born in Alabama on February 4th, 1913. She grew up in the town of Pine Level. When Rosa was growing up, the laws for black people were different from the laws for white people. Many places were for whites only. Black people could not go there. Signs told white people and black people where they could go. On buses, black people had to sit in the back. If whites wanted to sit on a full bus, blacks always had to give up their seats and black people had to sit in the back of the bus. This is what Rosa Parks is famous for, is for trying to change this. One day in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa was riding on a full bus. A white person wanted her seat. The law said at that time that the black woman would have to give up her seat to any white person that wanted it. The bus driver told Rosa to give up her seat, but Rosa did not move. The police took her off, or took her off the bus and she was arrested. She was taken to the police station. Rosa's friends were angry. Black people decided not to ride the buses in Montgomery until the law was changed. And remember, this was when Martin Luther King Jr. and his friend, I think Booker T. Washington, um, decided they were like, this is great. We can help Rosa. We can... We can help all of these people. We're going to boycott the buses because if they're not getting our money, then they're going to have to change things to want us back. And that's what they did. A year later, the law changed and black people could not be treated in such an unfair way. All people now had the same rights on the bus. So the law changed in 1956 so anyone could sit anywhere they wanted on the bus. And we know that this was possible from the Montgomery bus boycott that Martin Luther King started. Rosa's actions inspired people. Soon people across the country were working together for equal rights. People marched for equal rights in Washington, D.C., and we know from reading Martin Luther King Jr. that they also marched for equal rights everywhere. Rosa kept working to make life better for all people. She died in 2005. People remember how Rosa worked to make things fair. And this is a picture of Rosa Parks at the age of 75. This is our glossary. So if you had struggled with some of the words, if you weren't quite sure what they meant, we've got the words here and the definitions. You'll notice if you click a word, arrest, then it'll read it to you, which is really cool. If you're struggling, you're like, gosh, I don't know how to pronounce that word, then you can click it. These are books to find out more and websites that you can learn more about Rosa Parks. And then you'll get to the index about the authors and you'll finish the book. When you finish the book, you're going to start the quiz. And this is how you'll get your grade for this assignment. There are five questions, just like on our AR test. It says, question one, Rose's actions blank people. Did they inspired people? They wanted people? They angered people? Or they arrested people? Now, we know that her actions did not want people. That doesn't make sense. And it didn't, it did arrest some people. It arrested her, but we're looking at inspired and angered. We know from the story that, that um, some people were very angry with the way that she handled it, but more people were very inspired. So you click inspired, it'll tell you if it was correct or incorrect, and it'll move you to the next question. After Rosa was arrested, there was a bus boycott by black people. There was a march. There was a riot and people were killed or she was put in jail for the rest of her life. I want you to think back to the story and think about which answer best makes sense. And you'll finish the quiz on your own. I'll see you guys next time.